Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I decided to make a video today. It's a little bit rainy, so I have time to make a video. So I will show you some improvement I did on the mill and uh, talk about the blades. Uh, I did uh, put a blade on the mill about um, beginning of June I did get some blade and uh, the blade that I did put on the mill uh, I used the same blade for about 32 times well what I mean by that I sharpen it to 32 times and every five uh, hour of use so it give about 160 hours and that's not a joke <laughs> uh, I was surprised because what I saw on the internet guys usually use them for five to ten time sharpening them I don't know what is the time they use it to uh, uh, between every sharpening but uh, that pretty nice I use it all summer we are uh, beginning of September now and uh, use that blade all the time all summer long I was lucky I didn't get any metal in the wood uh, screws or uh, nails or anything in the woods so that's pretty cool I did fix all my issues with the mill and uh, so maybe that helped a lot uh, I'm putting only 20 pounds on the foot torque key here down and uh, I don't know if it's because of that but at 20 foot pound I don't have any more wavy cut so I don't I don't figure it's necessary to put more pressure on the blade than it is so it's working fine uh, this way if I have let's say it starts to wave I can use it five hours for good maybe sometime more and I didn't have any wavy cut. It starts to wave when your blade's getting dull, but I didn't have, I didn't wait until that time. So I did sharp them every five hours with my little uh, sharpening tools there from Norwood. Work really nice now. And um, so I did sharp that blade uh, 32 times. Can you believe it? And I did put it on the set tools one time after 15 time sharpening it and it didn't have any uh, I didn't have to set the teeth that much only one or two teeth were offset so that's not bad and I did get uh, some steel I will show you here I did some mods on the mill I was only able to make a one inch and a half cut the last cut so I was doing like let's say two by four so I was able to make one inch and a half that easy but when it came if I wanted to make one inch board uh, I needed to finish with one inch and a half so that's that's not that bad but now I'm able to do it I will show you the reason why here on the mill it's my uh, the uh, guard here uh, when I did get it low it did hit the bunk there so I did had a one by two every uh, every one of them I have no one now so all the way there so what I did I only have a boat hooked up there with the flat bar on the on each side and I have two little flat bar there to keep it from moving this way and only one there with uh, one quarter inch bolt there holding it down so uh, I did put big logs didn't have any issues worked really nice it's stable and uh, boards are all equal and worked pretty nice and the it didn't cost that much I don't remember the price but uh, it's 250 a pound where I buy it so 
and then I took some tubing they were brand new so not that bad <coughs> the next improvement I did on my sawmill you see here there's a flat stock there welded down with a hole that's where this piece of metal here was was in there so I needed to go come in front to engage the more the the blade or needed to go through this here so I have my handle here I need to go there uh, now I did put it on this side so only one hand engage so it's faster a lot faster <laughs> And uh, another little improvement here, I was having difficulties cranking the winch. I did change my winch, it's not the same winch anymore. Uh, this is a winch that I took at Princess Auto, and it's a two gear, there's two gear on it. The other one uh, was cranking the winch every one eighth of an inch, maybe a little more. And this one is about 1 16 of an inch. Uh, every little tick you hear there, raise my blade about 1 16, a little bit more, but not. So it gives me a lot of precision here on my ruler there. And yes, I did get myself a new ruler. We'll show you here where I took it. Where is it? There you go and you see the website there so uh, this ruler I went to Rivier du Loup and bought it directly from them and it's a nice one because let me show you here you have three quarter, four quarter, five quarter, six quarters and eight quarter and what does that mean? Uh, three quarter is three quarters of an inch four quarter is one inch Five quarter is one inch and one quarter. Six quarter is one inch and a half. And eight quarters is two inch. And you have the regular ruler on the side here. If you want to make some cut. My blade is set up, let's say I'm good to 19 inch. Well, if I set up my little black line there and set it up there, it will give me a 19 inch cut and this is how precise it is and what I love about that ruler it will it will make if you put your line on each let's say you're making three quarter board well your board will be all equal you don't have to go and figure uh, the distance with the blade because you need to figure out uh, Three quarter here is uh, it's a little bit than three quarters if you measure from here to here it's three quarter plus one sixteen of an inch but it takes in consideration uh, when you're cutting with the blade remove that cut so it will give you three quarter board or four quarter is one inch board and uh, that's the way it goes pretty nice little tool to have I did use a regular ruler before and did need to count every 116 and 18 of an inch and was I did write it on a paper because you cannot uh, remember every one of them but with this here it's pretty nice you have all the measurement there and I did see some ruler guys and it's not a little tiny, tiny line like this they're pretty thick one so I didn't like those uh, I, there's a guy in closer to me that sells mill but I did see the ruler and I didn't want those one because I wanted those little line more precise uh, it's everybody's taste some rulers are upside down here the number here you can see goes from 17 let me zoom here 18, 19, 20 and the other one I saw is like you have 19, 20, 7, 18 you know the number goes down so I didn't like those I prefer this one because every time I raise it follows those number 
and uh, that's an improvement that I like a lot same thing with the wind shear uh, having it uh, having it like more being more precise this is a 1800 pound winch and the other one was 1,600 pounds so this one is more uh, straight strong uh, another little thing here I did the other winch did have some problem cranking so I was doing maintenance on the pulley there and look what I found this little pulley here well you see this side here of the pulley well it was the same on this side but now the boat did go through here and did grind I did forget to put a little washer on it so that I did fix it this one here was on the other side this one did grind a little bit so what I did, I did grease those little pulley there, fix that problem there, and on this side here I did put, uh, where it is, here it is, on this side here I did put a little uh, washer on each side so it doesn't grind the pulley anymore and it's cranking pretty smoothly now. So it's working better and uh, that's it for now oh yes I did clean the carburetor on my motor here I did have little problem when I was giving some fuel on it and uh, it doesn't seem to have enough power so now it's working fine so I was able to move to two inch and three quarters to my three inch and three quarter to get the same speed as before I see a difference from 8.5 uh, going from a 9.5 sorry the other motor was 9.5 this is an 8 horse so I see a little bit difference but not that much now that I fixed the carburetor there uh, it's not the 9.5 but it's working fine and uh, I did get another motor guys it's a uh, 14 horsepower it was in special and Princess Soto uh, Princess Soto here in Canada is about the same thing as Arbor Freight in the US and uh, can't wait to swap that motor and to try it out it will come soon and uh, yeah I can't wait to try that motor but I'm not doing wood that cuts that have wide cuts like I think the biggest tree I did cut on this was like 18 inch in diameter on the big side so and I 9.5 did cut it so and uh, here for those who wondering I'm able to make a 31 inch cut I just need to move this there it's 31 inch and uh, I'm able to make a 24 inch cut wide by 10 inch 10 inch maybe 11 I need to check on the need back again but uh, the when I did construct it the, the clearance there the clearance was 11 inch but I think I have a pulley on that side there that is in the way so I think now it's more like 10 inch but 10 inch by 24 inch pretty nice cut and I'm able to put to put on the bed here uh, 44 inch I have a 44 inch clearance from this bar here down to down to the bed there of the sawmill so yeah I'm able to cut 44 inch diameter and 31 inch planks one inch thick that's pretty nice so 
thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe